everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. Today we're going to make sweet kisses. Now if you follow along with me on Instagram, you'll know that in December I tend to have a little bit of fun with Elf on the shelf and my little Elf is called Tinker. And we did a photo throughout that month where Tinker drew a design for a soap with one of my fragrance oils. And that fragrance oil happened to be Thank You Next type fragrance. Um, I've never smelt the perfume so I can't really say how spot on this fragrance is but it is a lovely fragrance and it's come through really nicely into the soap. Well I've actually put that design that we drew into my little book into a soap and today we're going to go and see how I'm going to be making my Sweet Kisses soap. Let's go! Okay so let's dive in to making this one. As always I have my oils at room temperature. I'm going to pour my lye water in here just very gently just so it doesn't splash. I'm going to give it a mix up and then we'll split it out for the colours and then I'll explain that colour palette to you. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is split off just a small bit for some white and this is some titanium dioxide dispersed in some water so we have that one I'm also going to put my stick blender straight in that so I don't contaminate my white in this pot here I have some mad minion and a little bit of titanium dioxide to make a pale purple and then into the next jug I have some grape soda which is a darker more royal style of purple so that's looking good like so. Into my big bucket I am going to be using some French rose mica and I'm also going to add in some titanium dioxide into this one to get a pale pink colour. So I'll get this mixed in and we'll add in the fragrance and then the, um, the colour palette will start to make a bit more sense. I'm using today this is a perfume dupe and it's meant to be a dupe of thank you next type or thank you next by Ariana Grande it's got notes of raspberry and pear and it also has a little bit of coconut some vanilla and some musk in there as well now the color palette for those of you who don't know what the perfume is because I didn't know what it was until I got the fragrance oil the color palette the first perfume that was released came out in a light pink bottle there was like a broken heart around the glass bottle and it was light pink and then they bought out a second version of it and that second version had a purple broken heart around the bottle so that's where the two colors have come from I have used it to make my embeds and it holds really really well um, in those embeds and there wasn't any discoloring even though this does take that sort of yellowish tinge to the fragrance so I'm going to get this um, fragrance oil all mixed in and then we're going to get to pouring it into the mold. Alright, so what I'm going to do is begin by pouring my white into my darker purple as much as I can get and then we'll finish doing that one in a moment. We are going to grab a mold and I'm going to pour a majority of this pink in here like so. And then what I'm going to do with these two purples, I'm going to drop pour them in and I'm going to kind of use that kiss pour technique to see if what sort of drop we get. It is starting to move quite quickly on me now. I don't think we're going to quite get that kiss pour because my hand went all over the place. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to pour the rest of that in here. 
okay and keep pouring we'll give up on that kiss pour because I can't get my jugs close enough <laughs> all right let's start getting them scraped down give them a bit of a stir to loosen them back up again Get our pink again I'm gonna give that just a bit of a stir just to loosen it back up it's one of those that it moves it starts to move quite quickly but as soon as you start moving that soap it thins it back out again so let's get this poured in the top and see if we can force some nice swirls simple spoon top on the top of this one because I have a couple of embeds two of the other fragrances or fragrance notes that were in this particular scent were macaron and pink rose so I have made myself some little macarons and some little pink roses as well and I'm going to decorate the top of this bar with them so to make these macarons I have got a macaron mold I've actually got I think six of them so what I did is I poured my soap in just to the bottom half where the actual biscuit of the macaron would be i let them set up and then i unmolded them and i have used just a little bit more soap to pipe them together and then i put my two halves together as well so there we have them really really pleased with how they've come up i actually want these a bit more up towards the the center i'm too busy yakking and not concentrating so let me get this one is in completely the wrong place to where I want it let's push it up there that's it and I made sure that they were all under my two and a half centimeters so that we could get them onto the bars and hopefully use that multi bar cutter but to be on the safe side we may just use the single bar cutter as well just trying to make sure I get up towards the middle but I keep pushing them down towards the side So the next thing I'm going to do is stick on my little roses. I've made enough so that each bar can get three tiny roses on here. They are very close to the, um, the base color of this soap at the moment, but I do have some green soap to the one side that I'm going to use to put some little petals, which will hopefully make them kind of sit up and off the um, soap. I did the green when I was doing these have only just been put together so I made myself up a batch of the white soap and then once I finished piping I colored the rest of that white soap with a little bit of chartreuse green mica and I've popped it into another piping bag with a little leaf tip so I'm gonna finish getting all these on and then we'll pipe some leaves
14 um, roses left. I was trying to count these the other day as I was making them and I was really, really struggling to count them. I think because I hadn't actually lined them up neatly on my tray. So all I'm going to do is just some of these are going to end up with an extra little rose that I'm going to tuck in the side here because I really don't want any leftovers from off this soap. It's a bigger one. We've got a bigger gap there. So just pop my gloves back on and now what I'm going to do is pipe just a few little leaves in here. Hopefully this isn't set up too much. Oh no, I think it's perfect. So I have just squeezed every last ounce of that green from out of that piping bag and I am loving how it looks. Just as I expected, those roses have now popped from off of the base of that soap and they are actually looking like they are growing from out of it. And there is the other side. I did put a couple of leaves on the ones that are missing that extra rose. And then I gave it a really good dusting with some biodegradable sparkle on there as well. So we're going to leave this one sit overnight. We'll be back very soon and we'll cut it open and see what we've got on the inside. Okay, so let's cut into sweet kisses. It is smelling so good. That fragrance has held really, really well. It is looking really, really pretty as well. So let's get it all lined up into Ida. Let's just pop that one down. Shuffle it along so we can get her all lined up. Hopefully we will miss all the macaron biscuits on the top. That's it, looking good actually. We're just gonna pull it against there. All right, that is better there. And let's cut through. All right, oh, I think we've got a couple that have had a little bit of a shave, but not too bad. All right, and thunk she goes. Let's grab this one from here. Oh, let's get that leaf off there and that is the inside. That's got some very interesting colouring on the outside so we could get a little bit of discoloration on this one. We will wait and see but that is the other side. And there is the top with the little roses and the macaron cookie. So we've got a couple down here where the, um, the macaron did just slice off but there we go on that one. So you can see we've got the two tones of purple in there and then that white as well. And you can see where you've kind of done that sort of kiss pour technique in here, how they've all kind of just combined into one color or one sort of drop on each of them. Really, really, really happy with how it's come up. Even these ones that are missing that extra little rose have come up just so pretty. Just having that little rose on the side of the macaron, you'd never really know unless you'd watched this video. And there is that side and it's smelling so strong as I'm actually pulling these bars apart. I'm getting really good hits of the fragrance there. So really, really pleased with this one. If you do want to see what actually happens with the color, I'm hoping it's going to turn into this sort of paler color around the edge. Come and follow me over on Instagram. And when this one is ready, I'll be popping pictures up on the um, Instagram page so you can see what it actually looks like when it finishes its cure. So I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made the Sweet Kisses soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.